All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is, we did throw a little bit of curveball at you today. Yeah, we didn't say it right, though. So first person type, the bird is the word. The bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. Wins the early bird special. And guess who is not the winner this week? Jason Tidwell put the bird is not the word. Sorry, my friend. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Steve Kreitz put first. And Bailey Merzik put the bird is the word. But it looks like who's first? Zach Wilkowitz, bird is the word. You are the winner of the early bird special, my friend. Fantastic to be joining you guys today. Today's show is number 186, thinking about ROI. Now, ROI, when we talk about it, is return on, I'm giving you the bird. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. <laughs> so ROI is return on investment. So we're going to talk a little bit about Return on investment today. We got all kinds of crazy good questions for you. We even got a little reveal at the end of the show. So stick around to the end. We got an interesting reveal for you. It's, it's definitely something that's interesting to us. Hopefully it's interesting to you. So without further ado, the, like I said, the big reveal is at the end of the show. First question for you all. First question for you all. Are your kids, your grandkids starting school? I looked on Facebook today. I looked at it yesterday, even Monday. People start school at all kinds of crazy different times. Are your kids or grandkids started at school yet? Or have they started at school yet? RJ started school when? Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday. And then Bella started start school next week. Next week. So college. Yep. So yeah, Steve Kreitz says, nope. Yeah, cheer started already. I got you there. So have your kids or grandkids or people in your family started school already? Put it in the chat, please. Just curious. Just curious. Just curious. Curious realtor as always. All right. So. As we're talking about return on investment stuff, um, I'll have six things for you. Let's see. Pat and he says, yep. What else, folks? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Have your grandkids or kids started school yet? That's the question for so far, so far. My next one for you is this. And I know it's driving me crazy. My niece and nephew started Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Um, are you... And it's going to be a tough question for some people. Some people are going to be like, yes, I am. Some people are like, what are you talking about? Okay. Are you a pumpkin spice person? Because for whatever reason, we skip in the summer. And we go directly into fall in the middle of August or the beginning of August. Ben starts next week, Monday. Gotcha. Okay. Are you a pumpkin spice person? Because pumpkin saucy spice. There you go. There's going to be yeah. spices happening everywhere. Shall you pumpkin spice person? Yeah. She's giving the thumbs down on that. That's pumpkin spice. No way. We'll ask Mike McLaughlin when we get to him. Steve says, hell no. Dawn says, big no. Because it's pumpkin spice everything. Pumpkin spice candles. Pumpkin spice coffee. Pumpkin spice this. Bailey says, nope. So I'm just curious. Are you a pumpkin spice person? Because pumpkin spice, if it hasn't already now, soon it will take over the entire world and everything will be pumpkin spice everything. Pumpkin spice cheeseburgers, pumpkin spice, you know, nasal yeah, creams, Timmy pumpkin House. spice, huh? Timmy House. Tim Hortons spice. already got the pumpkin Drinks spice. And muffins. Do you think <laughs> <laughs> Tim was coming up with, I think Big Mike is a pumpkin spice kind of guy. We shall see. He's waiting in the wings, waiting and waiting and waiting. He's got an uh, interesting shirt reveal for us, too. So, we, Tim, well, we will see. We will see. So, what do you think, guys? Pumpkin spice, is that a big, is that a big thing in your repertoire of the world? Do you look forward to it? I mean, like. Again, hollow it goes from from the beginning of August to how Julie Long is not a pumpkin spice person. I that amazes me, Julie. That absolutely amazes me. You're not a pumpkin spice person. One hundred percent amazed on that. All right. So last big question for you because to that end of summertime, end of summertime stuff. What is your Labor Day tradition? What is your Labor Day tradition? What are you gonna do next weekend? Get that. My folks got that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday going. What is your Labor Day tradition? What are you going to do? What do you usually do on Labor Day? Do you sit home and just watch, you know, what do you call it? Binge watch stuff? Do you binge watch things? Do you go out of town? Do you go to Camp Dearborn? Where do you go? What do you do? Labor Day weekend traditions. What do you got? Talk to me. Put it in the chat. Dawn says no tradition. Steve says cornhole. <laughs> this is your mom on Julie's computer. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ridiculous. So hell you're being you have an alias, a strange alias. Pass around 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 the fire pit early and hopefully not falling in. Okay, gotcha. Have coffee, take a nap. Have that sounds like you know, have gun will travel. Have coffee, take nap. 
See, that's pretty funny stuff. That's pretty good. Good, 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 good stuff. Yeah, I just a lot of people have different things that they do. A lot of people go away for the weekend, big traveling weekend. Um, for us, it's going to be Michigan football, right? So the Saturday, that Saturday, the beginning of the victors is starting to start their run to a national championship. So we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. All right. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go to the man, the myth, the legend, Mike McLaughlin. And he has an interesting, interesting reveal. Michael, what's happening, buddy? Hey, Scotty. How are you, sir? Man, your sound is beautiful. It's crystal clear. Holy smokes. Thanks to this beautiful microphone from a I'm certain... You. I don't Scott sound as good as you, and I got one right here, too. I don't sound as good as you. Well, you got to have that deep baritone, right? Yes, I do. The deep baritone. You got to have the deep baritone, Mr. Bergeron. <laughs> So you're you're uh, already thinking about securing that natty, huh? Well, you know what, buddy? Like I, I don't know. They got to beat Georgia. That's the big thing. I mean, I well, Ohio State too. We got hey, Jason Timmel's throwing your big Mike, Mike, Mike. You got to give him a little shout out. Hey, huh? Jason. Yeah, actually, I'm not a pumpkin spice kind of guy, although I do like a good pumpkin pie. Good pie. Well, yeah, good pump. But Mike, don't you agree? Like. As soon as the first week of August comes around, everything turns Halloween pumpkin pie. I mean, pumpkin spice. I know. I don't. I don't pay any attention to it though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's crazy to me. It's like I I see it. It just goes like we were at Sam's Club and everything was Halloween costumes. There, I'm like, it's freaking this. It was like the second week of August. Steve's talking about something behind me. All, all, the only thing behind me is a is a brick wall. I don't know what he's. All talking in about. all, it's just a no. The brick in the wall. That's all it is, buddy. Just another just brick a in real the wall. brick wall. That's all that is. Oh, Michael, tell me. So what about you? You got any Labor Day traditions, my friend? Not really. We just uh, stick around at home. I mean, whatever whatever's on the uh, itinerary for that week, you know, with, uh, you know, college or high school, excuse me, high school football actually starts Thursday, tomorrow. The first game for Carlson, for Gibraltar Carlson. They play Very airports. Nice. So it'll be the first time we get to see the band at play with Tommy, with as on the uh, quads this year for very in, nice. Uh, you walk around going, I'm with the band, man. Did you do that? I have a shirt that says I'm with the band on the back <laughs> and I have awesome. another one. Maybe I should, I'll show you, I'll show you that one after I do this reveal. Um, like we can only handle one shirt reveal per show, but you can't, you can't throw all the tricks out there at once. Come I on. don't know if I've worn that one. I probably have it. Okay. I'll, I'll save that for another show. All right. All right. Very nice. Jason very likes nice. the beard. Uh, you know, I'm just letting it, it's probably at its maximum length that's been at in a long time. No real beard products, just brushed it. Scott could probably see me brushing it a second ago. Oh, yeah. A little behind the scenes action. We don't tell you a little beard about. brush here. A little beard brush. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I just try to keep any hair that I have on my face or my head with me. That's all I'm trying to do. Just trying to retain that stuff. That's it. Just trying to escort it with you as long as possible. Huh? Yeah, escort. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. So tell us what's going on in the mortgage world, my friend. Uh, today was a good day for rates, which is nice because it had been a pretty bad recent, you know, period of time for rates. Just doing a little uh, searching, you know, I saw some news on CBS. It all still reiterates what we've said that we expect in this last quarter of the year that rates will drop and be in the mid sixes, kind of where they were for the last few months with the projection, you know, 12 to 18 months rates actually getting low enough because they're thinking that consumer spending is going to go down. So they'll have to lay off a little bit on the mortgage rates and then that will help to boost uh, more sales and perhaps a refinance boom within a year. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. Like I said, I feel like that's, that's coming, but it feels like that. Like first we were talking about the end of this year. Now we're talking a year out. Yeah, I know. I know. And who would have thought that, you know, we'd have such a disparity in rates this year. I mean, last year at this time, we were thinking rates were high and now they're 2% higher than they were last year at this time per, per that article. I see, I see Bruce is saying Bruce and Nancy Wales is saying that they have a, a grandson playing for Carlson. We have uh, some friends, the Smiths, uh, Max, Max Smith is, you know, obviously plays soccer. So we keep an eye on the soccer team too. And uh, how can the band doesn't play for soccer, buddy? What the heck? Marauders. What's that? How can the band doesn't play for the soccer team? It's ridiculous. You know what? Actually, they've been talking about playing for different events, you know, other than just halftime. You know, it's there's only so many uh, hours in the day for these kids. And I tell you what, these shows that they're preparing for, the one for that they're doing this year, Romeo and Juliet, 
They really, yeah. between practice and doing the shows at half times, I don't think they have a whole lot of more time they could commit. <laughs> no, I hear you. Hey, Steve, I tell you what, if I pull this curtain off the side of this window, the glare is ridiculous. So I had to fight the glare because we're doing a show from home. Perhaps you should Not- get a brick wall like I have. I should. Yeah. Totally, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just a brick in the wall, my friend. It's just a brick in the wall. Michael, I'm going to toot your horn for you because I know you don't do it yourself, right? So biggest thing that I got to tell everybody about is this. the um, I had a client do Mishta with another lender. You know how long it took, Mike? Yeah, you were saying. Go 60 freaking days. Two months. That's yeah. absurd. Like they kept they kept going and screwing stuff up, and I'm going to submit it to Mishta and all this other crap. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. So, ladies and gentlemen, when I ever tell you that Mike is Mr. Mr. or Captain Mr., I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. It's definitely because he gets it done. That's how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? It's definitely how it's supposed to be. So, yeah, you can't react to it for Mr. You got to plan for the Mr. <laughs> right. Absolutely. So, if anybody knows first time home buyers that are looking for down payment assistance, Mike McLaughlin is the man, the myth, and the legend. Oh, thanks, Bailey. Yeah, Bailey, she, she knows you made it easy. I mean, it's. Yep. Like I tell everybody all the time, our job, I told a guy I closed them today. I said, my job is to make it as easy as I can for you. I can't promise you no stress, but I promise you it's going to make it easy. We're going to make it as easy as possible. All right. You ready? Are you ready for the shirt reveal? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, Mr. Mr. That's good stuff. So what does the first part say? Don't, don't show us the bottom. Just tell oh, us it the says, part. we'll give. Yeah. I'm going to actually what I'm going to skip. <laughs> it says, we'll give mortgage advice. Wait, wait, hang on. As for some, what am I asking for in return for my mortgage advice? Right. So we'll give mortgage advice. Ladies and gentlemen, what's the rest of the shirt say? It says, we'll give mortgage advice. What's the rest of the shirt say? What is the rest of the shirt? What am I asking for in return? And I'm not asking for a lot. You know, I'm not asking for a Mercedes or anything like that. Not even a car, vehicle. Just what am I looking for with the mortgage advice? What do you think? Mortgage advice for what? Big (laughs) ass. Yes, it's just Jason. For a hug? There you go. You got just full, right. spec, full spectrums here, right? You got yeah. <laughs> give me a hug. I need a hug. What do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you think? We'll give mortgage advice for blank. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Put it in the chat, please. Put it. In oh, the chat. I'll get. I'll give a little hint. It's not usually associated with this day of the week. Ooh. Big wet Wednesday. Wednesday. Lickery, lickery kiss. Jeez. Bailey's oh. on the right track, and it's not usually Definitely associated some food. with Wednesdays. Definitely some food. <laughs> what else? What do you guys think? Tacos? Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Give you guys 10 seconds. Nine. Bailey Six. says tacos. Yep. Oh, paperwork. For, I already paper rough. Mom, what I already do enough paperwork. I don't need to be doing, I don't need to volunteer oh, for it. No, it's ah, not that's day. Day, yep. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Let's see. Wait. Let's see. Fist bump and a and a bump. Oh, a bump punch. Well, that kind of scares me a little bit. It's like a donkey punch or something like that. What is that? He's, he's making Three. a lot of guesses. You're letting Two. you're no, out no, of control. No, no, no. no. Shelly wants to show me. I'm like, yeah, no, don't do that. First now. run, you got to take control of this room. Tidwell's got like four guesses. Hold I know he does. Come on, guys. Can. All right. So, Michael, give it to us. We'll get more advice for what? Tacos. Yes. But it's Wednesday, not Tuesday. I know. That's why I haven't been able to wear the shirt until now. Finally, I just forget it. Wednesday's never going to be Bailey Tuesday. Merzik, she knew what it was. She's yeah. been sitting on her back deck, probably enjoying the wildlife and all the crazy stuff that goes on by her house. She until She should get a scratch off for that. I'm sure you're going to make that happen for her, aren't you? Yeah. Shelly just gives the scratch off away like it's gold now, like it's like like it's pennies now. You know what I mean? Water. Just I water know. flowing. I know. All right, brother. Well, listen, you look like you got some brick repair there back behind you. I'll let you get back to that, and I will see you next week. Folks in the chat, give us a mic, 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 mic. What do you got for us? Give us a mic, 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 mic in the chat. <laughs> I missed the question. <laughs> I missed the question. All right, guys. Be good. Brother, be good. We'll see you later. Bye. Thanks, Kenny. Mike McLaughlin, always coming up with crazy stuff. Here we go. So Chris Wojcinski, mic, mic, mics. There we, and some Tidwell guy, Steve Kreitz over here, Zach Wilkowitz. Got all kinds of people going on. So. Chris Garrett in the house. I think the second week in a row we've seen Chris, huh? All right. So let's get down to the nitty and the gritty, guys. Let's get down to the nitty and the gritty here. Okay. It's remodel. We're talking about remodel. The best ROI remodel. Okay. Six of them. 
the best ROI remodel stuff. And now I'm going to go six to, to one. I'm going to go backwards. Okay. So number six is get your wood floors refinished. Now notice I didn't say get new wood floors. Okay. I didn't say any of that stuff. Getting floors refinished. Okay. That's, that's relatively cheap. You can get it done in a thousand square foot house. You get it done for about a thousand dollars, something like that. Somewhere in that range, 1200 bucks, something like that. So that's going to make a humongous in, uh, improvement. If you got old stinky carpet, tear that up and get it refinished. That's, that's definitely a, a good ROI. Okay. It's definitely a good ROI. Now, do not ask me, hey, should I put new wood floors in? Because that's expensive as hell. So don't do that. Just getting them refinished if you have you have hardwood, okay? Can't really do it on laminate, right? But if you have old school 50s, 60s hardwood, you can do it all day long. So that's one. So that's number six, okay? That's number six. What I went for the bird in the world. You know what's your chance of millions of dollars. Come on. Number five. I had a gentleman in Livonia, my good friend in Livonia, do this the other day. Entry door replacement. I made it five. It could have been probably two or three, but they start getting pricey, especially if you want a, a really nice entry door. Okay, so entry door replacement is number five. You're going to spend a decent amount of cash, but you're probably going to get that back because it's the beginning curb appeal on a house. Okay, so again, number six was getting floors refinished. Number five is, is entry on your entry on your door. Or do entry door. Scott did get a haircut. Yes, he sure did. He got a, and a beard shape. Look at this. Look at this. How clean this look. Line, look the line is nice, huh? It's yeah. nice. Thanks for noticing, Pat. Nobody else did today. Jeez. I did too. <laughs> number four. Number four. Landscaping. Okay. Number four. Landscaping. You throw some mulch down. A couple, three, four, five, six bags of mulch, um, and you definitely improve your property. Do some some grass cutting, cleaning stuff up, things like that. Right. So there's mulch I saw on a house we did on Fairbanks in um, Belleville. That they did was it rubber? Mm -hmm. It was rubber mulch. Nice. It was like chopped up tire tire to create mulch. Okay, the reason that's cool doesn't lose its doesn't lose its shade, doesn't fade, none of that kind of stuff. So landscaping definitely number four on your re, your remodel. Definitely number four. Okay, number three, minor. Listen to the words minor kitchen remodels. Okay, changing all the handles, um, maybe in, re, repainting cabinets. Um, Maybe changing out some fixtures, that kind of stuff, right? Not major major kitchen remodel like my cousins. I just stopped over a house in Farmington. They're, they did all kinds of major remodeling, new island and stuff like that. Nothing that, okay? Very minor kitchen remodels because, again, kitchen and bathrooms sell houses, right? They just do, okay? So, so far, we've got get wood floors refinished, entry door replacement, number five, landscaping, especially mulch. Uh, use that rubber tire mulch. That's great stuff. And then number three was kitchen remodel. Now, no carpet ants with rubber mulch yet. <laughs> Darn, that's a good one. I like that. That's a good point. That's a good point, guys. That's definitely a good point. And put handles on my drawers. Yeah, you probably it would probably help you a little bit. Put some handles on your drawers. Yeah. Change to cook. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, number two. And this one, I, I wanted to put this number one. I really did, but it... it it's so common it doesn't give that as much flair as the next one because that's where they focus most. But number two, fresh paint. Fresh paint changes a lot of stuff. Okay. It takes out that smoky, uh, that smoky yellow stuff that gets up on the walls, right? That that film that builds up. It it can pop rooms. I tell folks not to, to do any crazy colors, but a nice white or a nice uh a nice gentle color makes rooms, you know, brings rooms back to life, brings rooms back to life. It's way more sweat equity than it is cost. It's way more sweat equity than it is cost. So that's, that's number two. And the last and final one, let's see here. Matt Bertazio in the house. Hey brother, you got to watch for a little longer. You're going to see houses that you're going to see items from a house you saw yesterday. So hang around for what realtors see. You're going to see items of things you saw yesterday. Okay. So check it out with us. All right. So last one, number one, minor bath remodel, okay? means changing out fixtures. It means changing out a vanity, maybe a mirror. Maybe, 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 because it's such a small space doing the tile. Maybe. But you got to really be careful with that because that can get real pricey real fast. But those type of things, changing fixtures out, uh, changing the mirror, maybe some paint, maybe putting some kind of architecturally cool looking thing or some shelves or something like that. So that's the number one. Return on investment, guys, because bathrooms 
sell houses. They really do. They really, really do. So dig, dig. The internet's full of little minor bathroom remodel stuff you can do. But let me go back to the list real quick with you. Number six, refinish. Get wood floors refinished. Don't, re don't put in wood floors. Get them refinished. Number five, new entry door replacement, right? Number four, landscaping, especially rubber mulch. Number three, minor kitchen remodels. And again, not something big, something small. Number two, fresh paint. And number one, remodel. Number one is minor bathroom remodels. So those are the those are the things that are going to help you on return on investment. Okay, it worked for us. It sure did. Number four, manscape is really <laughs> manscape is not one of them. Jesus, that was, that was a good one. But yeah, don't put in new floors. Nope, nope. Just get them refinished. Don't put in new ones. Yeah, because you're you're paying out the nose for that. Nope, that's definitely true. Okay. All right, let's go to the number two most loved segment of the show. This or that, this or that, this or that. They're going to be all about remodeling. So you choose, okay? Just from the information I gave you and your own gut instinct, tell me which one you choose. Everybody, please vote on these things. This or that, this or that. We got signs somewhere? I don't know. They're not around. So sorry, Trace. This or that number one. This or that number one. Nope. A new vanity or retile. Which one would you do? Put it in the chat, please. Put it in the chat, please. Put it in the chat. This or that. This or that. This or that. What are you doing? Are you retiling or are you putting a new vanity in? What are you doing? This or that. This or that. Let us know in the chat. Facebook user says vanity. Patney says vanity. Steve Kreitz says tile. Jason says vanity. This or that. This or that. This or that. This or that. New vanity. Chris Wojcinski says Facebook user says new vanity. And guess what? The winner is new vanity. Yes, it is. Whatever is worse. <laughs> Whatever is worse. That's true. But new vanity is probably going to get you the best bang for your buck, probably. All right. Number two of this or that. This or that. This or that. Mulch or new concrete? What are you doing? Mulch or new concrete? Put it in the chat. Mulch or new concrete? Which one? This or that? This or that? Mulch or new concrete? Which one's giving you the best ROI? What do you think? Your mulch or blue. I'm telling you. Okay. Chris Wojcinski says mulch. Jason Tidwell says mulch hands down. Facebook user says mulch. Pat Nee says new concrete. What do you think? New concrete or mulch? Which one? This or that? This or that? Which one do you think? Steve Kreitz says mulch. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? This or that? This or that? And mulch it is, ladies and gentlemen. Mulch it is. Definitely is. Mulch it is. Hollywood says mulch too. <laughs> That's my boy. Yep. The man, on the, the one's going to be the man on the street. Hollywood Wilkowitz. Number three, which one's going to give you more bang for the buck? Entry door or fresh paint? This or that? This or that? This or that? They couldn't see your hands for your signature move. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Fresh paint or entry door? Which one's going to give you more bang for the buck? Return on investment. That's what we're talking about. Return on investment. Which one? Fresh paint or entry door? Fresh paint, says one. Paint, says Chris Wojcinski. Pat Nee says entry door, please. Steve Kreitz says paint. Facebook user says paint. Bruce and Nancy say paint. Jason Tidwell says just fresh paint. No craziness added on to that one because usually he has a fun answer. So fresh paint it is for this or that. This or that. Now, we've come to the moment in the show that everyone's been waiting for. What realtors see. This is a chance we have a chance to win millions of dollars on a scratch-out ticket, courtesy of the Bergeron team and talking real estate. Okay? What realtors see. <laughs> Matt Bertazzi, if you are still watching, several of these are from a home that you actually toured yesterday. So let's take a look. Your job is to caption them, ladies and gentlemen. My job is to try to put something out there that's interesting to you. Let's go. 
All right, so let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. Let's see. And there it is. That's kind of cute. <laughs> it is kind of cute. There it is. What realtor C number one? Your job is to caption it. What realtor C number one? Saw this yesterday in a house in Allen Park, Michigan. What do you think? What do you think? Put your best caption up there. If you make us laugh, make us cry, or take us away, take us away to a strange land. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? What realtor C number one? What realtor C number one? I'll try to draw it out a little bit more for you so you can see it a little better. That's too much. There you go. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Let's see. Watch out below deck. I'd hate from. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Treehouse for that cat on the counter. <laughs> That's pretty good. What do you think, guys? What do you think? About 30 seconds. What did, what realtor C number one? What realtor C number one? I get top. This is a two. For the two two for the bed of one two for the bed of one yeah guys got 10 seconds claustrophobia nightmare nine eight seven six five four three two one Urgh. claustrophobia nightmare bailey merzik you are the winner of what realtor seat number one hopefully matt Bertazio is still on i don't know if he is but definitely uh I saw this with him at Allen Park yesterday. All right, number what two. Room was that in? I can't remember. They had five bedrooms. I can't remember. How about this one? How about this one, ladies and gentlemen? Saw this with a different client. That's a side door, and that's what you see. What realtor C number two? That's a side door view. That's a side door view. What realtor C number two? What realtor C number two? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So I don't know, folks. Shall I be allowed to compete? We'll see. Is that yours? <laughs> oh, my co-host. You know, she's always getting the last. That's from Shelly right there. Funny. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a blowout, huh? That's a crack. <laughs> like that would be. You blew the toilet out again. Garbage, garbage everywhere. Explosion. <laughs> Is that what they call it? <laughs> That's pretty good. I feel like it's, wasn't that in Lethal Weapon? Didn't he sit on the toilet and they blew it up and it came out the side? <laughs> I've, I've been to that Mexican restaurant. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty funny too. Guys, you got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, earn. And the winner is, it's, I've been to that Mexican restaurant too. <laughs> Steve Kreitz, you're a winner for number two. Last one was just interesting to me. It was just interesting to me. Last one was just interesting to me. Roger on the toilet. Yeah, Roger on, yeah, Roger on the toilet. That's exactly right. Number three, number three. Let me make it bigger so you can see it. Some people call it antique. Some people call it something else. What realtor C number three? What realtor C number three? What realtor C number three? Put it in the chat, please. Put it in the chat, please. Your chance to win millions of dollars on a scratch-off ticket courtesy of Talking Real Estate and the Bergeron team. All you got to do is put your best caption forward. That right there. That right there. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Now that's pretty. 
What else, ladies and gentlemen? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Ride the glide slide. Ride the glide slide. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's what's called a glider, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hate to be sitting there if lightning strikes. <laughs> That's pretty That's good. Phenomenal. Is it? Oh, geez. Is that a really, really the wonder bug in the background? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Guys, you got 20 seconds. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What realtor C number three? What realtor C number three? What do you think? 10, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, settle. A big ass furniture. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. And the winner is Ride the Glide Slide. Chris Voice. Your winner of number three of number three, what realtors see. Now we promised you guys, we promised you a reveal. We promised you a reveal at the end of the show, if you recall. So I want to show you. This is our reveal, right? Oh, let's see. Can I turn this thing? Dang it. Um, let's see. Hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on one second. There we go. All right. So here's our big reveal right here. That's not it. Let's see if I can figure out a way to show it to you the right way. Yeah, but that's not going to help us right there. Honey. Hang on one second. There we go. That should be it right there. Let me make it big for you. Let me make it big for you. All right. So tonight, the reason we're doing the show from home, ladies and gentlemen, the reason we're doing the show from home is this is probably going to be the schematic of the pool. You're right, buddy. You're absolutely right. This is a schematic of the pool we're looking to get. We're meeting with the pool people here. Huh? It's a big ass pool. So I think if you look at the top lines, it's 44 feet across and 16 wide. I hope it's not the guy in the hall of shame. No, it's not the guy in the hall of shame. So we wanted to show you. That's why we're here at the house. We're meeting with the pool people in about 20 minutes. So yeah, it's got a big, huge pad over here for like kids and stuff like that. It's got the steps for the parents on both sides for the older folks. So fourth pool is the charm. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't kidding. Jesus, gravity. All right, so that's kind of where we went. Yeah, you ain't kidding, Kat. So we're kicking around the idea of having a, because it's going to come in, I think they're going to be done in October. So we're kicking around the idea of having like a polar plunge, having the family over and everybody jumps in at once. So we'll see. If that might be that might be something you see it live and in person. I don't know. So we're that's what we're pretty excited about it. So we've been this has been a long time in the making, folks. So I appreciate I appreciate you. Uh, Checking that out. Don't forget to check out the outdoor bathhouse. Yeah, I know. It. I hear you, the outdoor bathhouse. So that was a, a yeah, that was our big <laughs> our big reveal. It wasn't a gender reveal or anything like that. So Shelly and I are not having kids right now or anything like that. But right. the pool, we're signing on the pool tonight. So that's what's going to happen. So yeah, you want to come in and, and have a you know October fest uh, pool party over here? You can come on over. No big deal. All right, guys. As always, we love talking to you and love giving you information, stuff like that. Hopefully, the return on investment was great today. Hopefully, you took a couple of things away with it. Uh, I've been in lots and lots of houses, both as a buyer's agent, as a listing agent, and just popping by people's houses, and it's always amazing. Thank you very much for the congrats. I appreciate that. It's absolutely amazing what you can do with some very simple, minor things and some paint stuff like that. So, I'm Scott. We're gonna go do a quick, um, quick after show. We'll be on the after show for a couple minutes only. So if you are part of the Facebook group, Talking Real Estate, you can head over there. If you are not, join the group, Talking Real Estate, the Facebook group. I think we almost have it up to about 950 to 1,000, somewhere in there. So it's getting bigger all the time. I'm trying to give you special content in there, too. So our after show only goes to that Facebook group. I'm Scott. I'm Shelly. And we're Talking Real Estate. See ya.